Welcome back everybody. Jerry here with 3D HP. It's time to drill and tap some aluminum. If you've seen in my prior video, I got my aluminum brackets all cut out here and I didn't know how to properly use my CNC to put all my holes in. And then I have four holes that go up here that have to be tapped that are very small. Well, first off, I went over to my printer and I printed out some templates. And then I cut it out and I figured, okay, I can just tape that on there. I can take a punch. I can make a center mark on each one and then I can drill them out that way. I'm thinking, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have lasers and stuff, man. So I printed them out of wood. So this will work much better. Some Baltic birch. The pattern will line up perfectly. Now I can either take a sh tape it to it, take a Sharpie and mark each of them, or I can just tape it, hold it, and drill them in place. But I've got a couple of bits here off Amazon for the larger holes ready to go. And I can either do it freehand or I can put it in a drill press for the larger holes. And then I've got the four smaller ones here with a stepper motor mounts on my bit, my CNC, my 1300 by 1300 Jimitsu Prober XL V2. <clears throat> and those I have to tap. So I'm waiting on that kit to come in the mail. It'll be here in a day or two. At the, when you, while you're watching the video, it'll magically just appear, but that'll be for the four smaller ones. But yeah, pay for idea, no, nah, no, nah, no, don't do such a thing. Yeah, template, wooden, perfect. Made a second one just for giggles, so we're all ready to go. We'll jump out in the garage. We'll get these taped up in place where they go. We'll get them drilled. We'll sand them up and make them look pretty. But yeah, lasers do the trick. Let's hop out in the garage. Okay, got it all taped up. Uh, blue tape seemed to work better, held it in place better than the duct tape. I got a little WD-40 to help on cooling in case the bit gets hot on the aluminum. Um, anyway, I'm just going to leave the template on there, line it up, and go for it. I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the larger holes done. A little oil in there. Haven't tried this before, but shouldn't be a big deal. Okay, with it turned off, we've got it lined up to make sure it goes down in the right spot, and here we go. We'll go in and out, in and out, in and out until we get it all the way through. Let's drill them like butter. Probably could have ran it all the way through, but let's go ahead and go in and out just to make sure nothing gets hot. Template's still lined up correctly. Okay, two down. <clears throat> no, straight through. came out good now we'll flip it around and do the other three Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, Amazon's almost a week late, but I finally got the tap set that I wanted to try out. And these are grill taps. I've never tried them before. Then I need an M4 by 7. Which will have a drill bit on them. We've got the threaded tap here. So we're going to give that a shot. Now, I'm using a drill press to keep it straight, but obviously if I run it all the way through, I can't pull it straight back out or it'll tear up my threads. I'll have to shut it off and back it out manually. See, I can open up the top if need be. I can run it down manually when I'm threading. Or I can grab the chuck and do it that way. It'd be a lot easier just to open the top up with it turned off. Then I can turn it manually. But we're going to try one out and we'll see what we do. Get it all figured out here in just a second. It will either work and go perfectly or I'll break a bit and have to order another one. But not a set, obviously, just order a single. So. Sure, that goes down deep enough. Yep. Make sure I got enough clearance. Got to be up there. So, do I take the drill bit, to hit all four of them, and just and make a small indentation the way I can mark them where they're at? Take this template off. I think it'd be best. That way I can see what I'm working with. Be a lot easier. Hmm. Well, let's just drill one and find out. Mom's cans about empty WD forty. Making a mess. So if I do run it all the way down, I'm gonna have to stop. See the camera can see that. Okay, I kind of bound up on me. I'm turning it down manually all the way. Now it's real easy. Okay, now let's take it back up. Probably shouldn't do that mid-air. Don't want to break it.
but I don't have an extra hand here, so we'll get it figured out. I have to clamp the next one, I guess. There it goes. Uh, one looks good. Close that top for safety. Put some more oil on it. Now I'm gonna have to clamp this. Let's see where's my clamp at? Nope. Try it. Okay, now I'm going to run it down manually. Okay, and I'm screwing it back up. Tip that back so you can see what I'm doing here. Let me bring this back further so you can see better. There that works. I'm cranking it out. Handle's going up. And there it's all the way up. Come over here to the third one. Nope, that moved on me. Wearing my reading glasses, put on some safety glasses. Better safe than sorry. Close the lid. Okay, run it down until it binds, and I'll finish it by hand. Easy, it's all the way down. Now we'll run it back up. Put a little tension on it just to hold this so it don't slam up like the last one did. And let's back it all the way out. And I'm not worried about this not being unplugged. I got the switch turned off. Plugged right here if I wanted to. I could just unplug it each time. But that's good and blank.
Okay, my phone overheated, so hopefully it won't overheat again. Now I'll try to do this next one here. Where's that wire brush at? If you guys wondering what's with a toothpick all the time, I quit vaping like six months ago. I smoked my whole life, then I vaped for like 11 years. I'm like, you know what? I got tired of vaping one day. Got over, threw it all in the garbage, went to toothpicks. So that's why I got a toothpick in my mouth. See if the camera's still working. Yippers. Here's the left side, and here's the right side. Until they're done, you're good to go. All right, let me show you where these brackets are going. This is my Jimitsu Prober um, V2XL 1300 by 1300 that I upgraded. Initially, when I first got the machine before I upgraded, it was about that big. And now it's super sized, but it's got rollers on it. I want linear rails. I want it to be much beaver, beefier and better than it was before. See that bracket? And there's one of the brackets right there that I just made. I'll be replacing that to give it a little more girth, a little more height. And then I have to uh, redo the X-axis. I got to re-tap and drill and remake those. My rails I got off eBay still haven't shipped. Got them like two weeks ago. Maybe next week they'll ship. So I'm still waiting on my rails. I'll have linear rails for my X and my Y. They'll be top and bottom here. Top and bottom here and top and bottom over there. This machine currently does run. Works great. I just don't like having wheels on it. I want it to be a little more rigid than it is. So that's why I got a hold of the man over on Etsy. Link below in the description with some upgraded parts. So anyway, everybody have an awesome day. Please like, subscribe, share, and leave me a comment. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And yes, I'm new to aluminum. So... <laughs> I'm learning. There's a lot of things I don't know, but I think for my first time cutting aluminum, that came out really badass, in my opinion. So, And I know there might be better ways to do things. I'm learning. I'm getting there. You guys have a great day. Later now.